Citrus Aviation here for yet another video and today we are going to see an interesting flight. Um, it's really really early so I'm calling this 624 and uh, we have this aircraft came in last night and now we're going to go see it depart for its early morning return flight and uh, there's some other cool things we might be able to see so uh, let's go check it out. Welcome to DSM everybody today. We have this beautiful bird just chilling there on the ramp. Uh, he's parked the gate Alpha 1. It is the Missouri 1 state livery by Southwest and we have a SkyWest about to take the runway. There's a American CR9 over here and uh, we're gonna see some other cool things today. So yeah, let's get started. Off to Chicago Hale. And here we have Missouri 1 about to taxi out at Southwest Flight 633 to St. Louis. This aircraft is November 280, why not? So, you know, it's a pretty cool aircraft. And there he goes, starting his taxi roll very soon. Such a beautiful livery. I love these Southwest State Boards.
just switched to runway 13. We got this American Airbus 1819 tax out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. This is the only flight to Phoenix out of DSM currently. Just get a nice little jog here at Gray's Lake. Pretty cool park here. Obviously love getting some exercise. We're here early on Sunday morning so not too many people out. Then after we finish up here, we'll go back to DSM and get a couple more aircraft. So it's a really cool feature on this bridge with the lights here that turn on and they light up these panels. And they look really cool at night time. Um, so here's a yellow one. And then there are a green, blue, and red. This blue one. There's a green one here. Oh, that's a blue one. And this is red. This is really cool. I really like it. Hey, one, we have returned back to Des Moines Airport to get a, another Allegiant 8 through 20 and to see a United New Levy Embryo 170 that will be leaving about 20 minutes or so.
It's United and Wheel 1 steady its way now the end of the runway and because of about 35, 40 mile an hour wind gusts, um, he's not cleared for takeoff. So you see over there there's a cloud, a very large cloud. It passed over us and when it was passing over us we had insane wind gusts, 30, 40 miles an hour. The porty party back there literally blew over. That's just how strong the wind was. It was that strong. And the E170 new livery has probably had the hold where currently loading the live ATC app to see what's happening but yeah it has not departed yet probably because of the insane wind gust that just blew up but uh, hopefully it'll be leaving soon Hello everybody, the Legion 8-20 is pushing back for his flight to Punta Gorda. This is, well, the only aircraft left at the tunnel. Welcome, welcome to the modern times. Okay, over there, just behind the building, we have a really nice aircraft, very large private jet. It's about to depart. It looks like some kind of Dassault Falcon or something like that or maybe like a Hawker 900, stuff like that. But then over here, you might remember that the Legion aircraft had pushed back. And once the camera focuses, you'll see that it has returned to the gate. So there was some kind of issue that forced it back, uh, either some kind of mechanical issue or maybe a medical emergency. Airbus CQ-20 there was supposed to be leaving at 9. 45 a.m. He's now delayed till 2.51 p.m. He's gonna be pretty late. We got a United CRJ 550 that has just landed. There he is. And the Falcon is taxiing behind us, so I'll get him really soon. It's the CRJ, I believe it's the CRJ 550, heads to his gate. info on that aircraft we saw is a Dassault Falcon 2000 EX as you can see and you can see the owner and some other information and um, yeah it's a really cool aircraft um, I'm very glad I can see it. it has an awesome paint scheme and we're not going to catch it to point and then we will head home so I hope you guys have enjoyed the spot vlog thank you for watching 
Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.